Well, we actually look like a football team tonight uh, for four quarters. We left a few points on the field on offense. If we can have any complaints, you know, we missed the field goal. We turned the ball over one time. And we left, uh, I think we left 11 points on the field in the first half. I didn't count them in the second half, but we made too many mistakes. Obviously, the snap over the head on the punt and, you know, was uh, disturbing. That happens in weather like that. But other than that, I thought we handled it pretty well, the, the, the weather. Real proud defense. Defense uh, gave up the opening drive. That kid last week did the same thing to South Florida. He dropped back, pulled it down, not go through his reads and just start running the ball. We wanted him to do it. And, you know, when you hit a quarterback, you know, 10, 15 times in the first half, it kind of takes a toll. It's not a, he's not a running back. And so it's tough for a uh, quarterback to do that. And I uh, thought our guys did a good job of not giving up the big play. Huge play out of, I think, Tyrell Gilbert on the go route, kind of taking the ball away from number five, who's, I think, their best player uh, on the go route. But uh, coaches did a good job. It's good to come back home and have homecoming. I thought the uniforms look, look very good and kind of prestigious. I can't spell that word, but I'm going to say that word, Tom. But uh, it. Uh, uh, homecoming went great. It was good that we at least got all the homecoming in other than the football game. They got the parade and all that in. So we, we sacrificed and, and took all the rain. But just great day for the Bearcats. We got better. We're a better football team. We're much better than we've we, uh, we played in a couple of games. And we played well the second half. Questions? What went into the decision making behind getting better to starting the game? Well, uh, you know, last week, uh, you know, Hayden got hit a bunch. And uh, he wasn't quite the player this week. He's, he's got some tendonitis in several areas and wasn't 100% in practice. But I told both of them, you're going to have to go hard. And, and, uh, and we charted it. And Gunner had, had uh, much more focus. And, but Hayden, Hayden uh, practiced hard and practiced well. But I thought just Gunner, the zip on his ball was much better. And then I probably would have changed it even if I'd have gone the other way to Gunner once I saw it raining. Because Gunner throws a good wet ball. I mean, he's, he's uh, got a pretty good sized hand, throws a wet ball well. And that makes a big, huge difference for a quarterback. So uh, we'll go back to the drawing board and, and uh, get back into competing next week. Uh, I just saw Gunner in the elevator. And I think he's going to be real hard to get that, get that position away from uh, that number one spot. But again, it's great for competition. It's great for everybody involved, I think. Yeah, yeah, making good, made good decisions. Uh, there's a couple he'd like to have back down in the red zone. Uh, but uh, again, the, the sack and the fumble wasn't his fault. They outrun him, run, run our tackle on the outside. And uh, we've just got to get better at that. But you know, in weather like that, uh, I don't know, we had to have close to 650 yards offense. That's, that's a lot of offense. I thought our offense kept their focus. And, and uh, you know, it's, a wet ball is very hard to play with, very hard. And uh, it was their advantage for it to rain tonight. It wasn't our advantage. And so uh, uh, we handled it. And again, we got the running game going. Mike Boone is good to have him back running almost 100%. And then Jose obviously had run 150 yards and Tion. So we're getting better. You know, it's, we're, we need to. You know, we've, we've already got three losses. We can't afford another one. So we'll come back next week and have another home game and see how much better we can get. Did you mention? You mentioned Gilbert. Uh, how big has his emergence been over these last three games for the defense? It seems like that's shirt up the, the back end quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. You know, he's a great athlete from Princeton High School. He had a huge hit on number 86 across the middle in the second quarter and knocked the ball loose. And that was a huge play. He's got a lot of ability. Uh, he's just one of those guys, sometimes it gets too aggressive. And safeties can't get real aggressive. In, in, in some games, but uh, last week he, he really played well against BYU, and uh, he just gets better and better. And Clink, uh, <coughs> Coach Clint Scale is playing a lot of guys back there. I looked out there sometimes, and we had a whole new secondary other than the ones we started. But we got to do that. We got so many young guys. We've we've just got to get them in the game and live with it, and and uh, hopefully uh, they can learn on the run. Could you speak briefly about Shaq? He had eight catches. Um, just he had eight catches close. today. He's one of the best football players I've ever been around. Knowing football, understanding football, understanding his position, understanding 
how to get open and then catch the ball and then make a play once it gets the ball in his hand. He is, uh, uh, he's Mr. Consistent. And the quarterbacks, whoever's out there knows they can throw it in his direction. He made some huge catches over his head. I mean, he's, he's only five foot six. He says he's five foot 10, but he's five foot six. And he, he uh, you know, he could have dunked a basketball on one of those little post routes he ran and jumped and caught that thing. And, and again, it's a wet ball. But uh, he wanted to go back in. But I tell you what, he's a solid football player for us. And he's, uh, uh, I don't know how far he is away from getting the record, cause seven. seven. I would, I would venture to say at a dinner time with you that he's going to get seven, <coughs> seven in the next uh, five games. anybody, anybody want to take that bet? No. How would you compare him to Michael Crabtree? You know, I didn't coach Michael Crabtree, but I did watch Wes Welker work out a bunch. He used to come back to Texas Tech, and uh, about the same size, very uh, athletic. Once with the ball in their hands, but the thing about a guy like that, you got to get open and you got to be seen. And that's what Wes Worker does. That's what all these, these, these smaller guys do, inside receivers. And there's no – I tell you what, Shaq is just – he's money. The, the quarterbacks have confidence. They know exactly he's going to be in the right spot. And you have to do that. And you have to be able to understand that to, to get as many balls thrown your way as Shaq does. Max Morrison um, struggled with a couple catches. And D.J. Dowdy caught two catches and one for a touchdown. Um, is including the tight end more in the passing game is yeah, we got to throw more of the tight end. Uh, Max, you know, he got he got uh, hit pretty good last week, and he he wasn't the same guy tonight. You could just kind of tell out there. He was all cleared and all that, and but then did practice uh, Wednesday and Thursday. But uh, you know, when guys get injured and they're not they're not a hundred percent, they don't play quite as well, you know, mentally or physically. So it'll be good to get Max back uh, again. We didn't play Broughton tonight. I didn't put him didn't even put him in the game. Uh, and he's one of our better D linemen. We held him out. He got his ankle tweaked last week. But we want to throw the ball to tight end. And we, uh, uh, Cogswell made a great block on that last run uh, down with Jose. But our tight ends are getting better. We don't have a lot of them, but uh, uh, they've been very valuable. Uh, 612 yards offense. What do you attribute them playing as well tonight as they did for Our offense? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we. we we're pretty good on offense. You know, the, the thing that has beat us in the, at least a couple of games is turning the ball over. We absolutely turned it over. Uh, we've been consistent on offense. Where we hadn't been consistent is defense. And I think tonight we held them under 300 yards. And we keep continuing to get better on defense like we're getting. We're going we're to uh, we're gonna win a lot more football games. You just can't win it on offense. But it's good to see tonight that our our defense played well, and the one thing that I always look at, I always look at third down conversions, and they were two for 11. And you play that well on third down, you're going to win a lot of games. Coach, Gunner Fields, 26 to 35, 327 yards, three total touchdowns. Looked like a pretty good game. Um, when he's playing his best, or playing what he should, is he the best quarterback on this team, hands down? I wouldn't say that. I, I, I would say that he's the most experienced and the best quarterback we got going because he's played a lot of football games. One stat that you didn't put in there, he completed all those and, and handled the ball most of the time well and got us in the right play. The one bad snap that he was trying to tell the tight end what to do and moved and the center didn't see him when we snapped it back and he wasn't there. One stat you didn't, didn't have on there and you'll never be able to see it in the stats, it was a wet football. And that is hard to throw. You saw their kid tonight who really played well last week throwing a dry football and he struggled. He could not throw the wet football. And so there's a difference. You know, there's guys that can and guys that can't. And same, not on, just on our league, but in the NFL. And uh, I thought he was, he was pretty, uh, pretty dang good tonight, you know, with a wet football in his hand, standing in the pocket and, and taking a few licks like he did take. Speaking of the wet football um, in the rain, Gunner did not throw a pass in the fourth quarter. Um, did that factor in your uh, play ball? Well, in the fourth quarter, we knew we had the lead. And uh, they wanted to throw it. I wouldn't let them. Uh, I wanted to win the game and get out of there. It was starting to get wet and cold down there about the middle of the fourth quarter. And I was trying to get Bob not to call all those timeouts on the other side, but, uh, but he called them. And, and uh, uh, you know, it was, you know, it, again, it's a good football game for us because we finished, you know, we finished the game. And everybody had a smile on their face. This time last week out in BYU or Friday night, we didn't have very many smiles on our faces because we, we knew we were good enough to win that football game. We just didn't play like we did tonight in the fourth quarter. Connor, what have the last few weeks been 
like for you? Uh, I mean, for me, they're really tough. I mean, uh, getting hurt was uh, definitely a setback. But, uh, I mean, Hayden Moore stepped up and played really good. And it uh, feels really good to be back in the spot and, and, and being a captain and uh, our quarterback. So, I mean, it feels really good. And we came out with a huge win, which uh, is really big for us. Can we asked Tommy Tuesday uh, what your attitude was like, uh, how you'd been or something. He said you were pissed. Yeah, honestly, I was. Yeah. I was very mad. I mean, uh, to me, I thought I was doing everything right. I mean, uh, I competed. And I, uh, I thought I had some of the best practices I've, I've had. And uh, I mean, I always had the mindset that God had a, has a plan. So I mean, kept on uh, busting my butt and just just uh, believing that good things were going to happen, and uh, they did. When you found out you were starting tonight, what was that feeling like? Oh, it's huge. I mean, uh, to finally be back and play is is it's awesome. I mean, uh, I mean, I live, die, and uh, for football. I mean, that's all I ever do. I mean, uh, football is my life. So whenever I was out and and it, it it hurt. So I mean, to finally be back out there is just it's uh, the best feeling ever. When, when did he tell you you were starting? Uh, we found out Thursday. Was there ever that fear you got while he pitched? If you know what that means? No. Do you want to explain <laughs> <it for me? laughs> Old baseball. While he got hurt, yeah. lost his job, and then Luke Garrett came in and played yeah, 2,500 yeah. games. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry. But, uh, no, honestly, I just always had the mindset that, that anything can happen. I mean, Hayden came in and played really well. I mean, uh, you can't control that. And he came out of the big win against Miami. That was huge for us. And, and I love Hayden. I mean, we're really good friends. And uh, he was there for me. I'm going to be there for, for him. So, I mean, uh, we know that, I mean, we both want to start and play. But, I mean, we both want the best for each other. Zach, what about the defense tonight? That, you know, the first drive that kind of slipped right down the field after that, they didn't get much. Oh yeah, I mean our, our D line stepped up uh, big tonight, um, and that was that was a key factor. And we knew coming in, our D line had to play well because everything starts and ends with them. I mean, they get a rush and they uh, they stop the run. They have to pass it, and it but it, their pass rush was great tonight too. He couldn't get the ball off, and uh, everything started with them. You've had a lot of guys rotating in that other safety spot next to you. Does it feel like Gilbert has kind of started to take some ownership of that and, and make plays? Oh, definitely. I mean, he he, he wants the spot. He he doesn't want to rotate. I mean, that's good for a young guy like him. And uh, he is owning up to it, and he's, and he's taking full responsibility. Everything, uh, everything that he does, good, and all his mistakes. Is that something you can tell coming through camp, or has that been since he's gotten game experience? The confidence has really started to grow. Uh, it's been more with the game experience, um, and he'll tell you that it's been more with the game experience. He's getting more comfortable now. Zach, where do you guys stand as a team? Do you think you kind of you're on a path where you win one, you lose one? You were the preseason choice to win the league. Where, where do you think you guys are right now? Uh, we're just taking it one game at a time, honestly. We can't really say where we are right now because uh, we still have games left and we have a game next week. So we can't really say where we are right now, but uh, we're on a winning path right now. Three or four games ago, Zach, they kind of went with the youth movement on defense. I think six or seven guys started that were either freshmen or redshirt freshmen. Are you surprised at how fast some of those guys are coming along, Bryce and then Jalen Miner and, and Gilbert and those guys? Uh, honestly, I'm not because, I mean, those guys had it in all, all along. Um, they just didn't have the experience like we talked about earlier. They didn't have the experience, but now they got the experience. And it's been a lot quicker. I mean, yeah, it's been quicker than a lot of other freshmen, but they've been ready since they got here. Gunner, with the weather, um, what's your approach to throwing the wet ball as well as you did tonight? Oh, honestly, I don't mind it. I mean, uh, throw the ball in any type of weather. I mean, uh, I always pride myself that I can throw the ball pretty well in the rain. So, I mean, our, uh, our managers did a great job of rotating out towels and keeping the balls dry. and, and and every series coming off, they would always have a towel ready for me. So, I mean, hats off to our equipment staff for, for getting the job done. Do you have a connection with Shaq where it feels like no matter where you throw it, and then the one he went up and caught over his head kind of mm -hmm. kind of was just crazy. Does it feel like you can put it out there and, and he's going to go get it no matter where it is? Yeah, I mean, Shaq's a freak. And that, that goes along with all of our all of our wide receivers. I mean, they're, they're big plays. They, I mean, they come up with some big plays, and I mean, all I have to do is just throw it up and give them an opportunity. I mean, I've always said that from day one. I mean, uh, got a great group of wideouts that uh, that compete and, and want to get uh, get get wins, and 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 will do anything to 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 do that. Now he's increased his role a little bit more. So now you're gonna have to listen to him coming at you too and, and telling him he needs the ball. I mean, Dowdy already did that. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, with our tight ends, they always want the ball. So I mean, I always joke around with Dowdy that, hey man, if uh, 
I mean, in practice, I always used to throw balls to him and hit him right in the chest, and he'd miss it. So he's like, hey, you're actually going to get the ball to me? So, <laughs> so, I mean, we joke around a lot, but I mean, I love Daddy. I love our tight ends, and, and they're coming along strong. So we'll, uh, we'll see. What is it about Shaq that, I mean, he obviously gets the most catches. He's also about the smallest receiver <laughs> you have. Is it, coach says you guys just are confident that he's going to be in the spot that he's expected to be, et cetera. I mean, what sets him apart from I mean, Shaq is such a good route runner, and he's so quick and agile that it makes it hard for defenders to, to, to tackle him and to see what he's going to do. So, I mean, there's, he's done some crazy stuff, I mean, where he just gets open. So, I mean, uh, we just got to, for the quarterbacks, we just got to see where he's going to be at and just get him the ball, throw him an accurate ball, and, and see what he's going to do with it. And it's a, he's fun to watch. Zach, did it feel good to get a couple of takeaways um, for our offense? Oh, definitely. I mean, these guys put up points, and uh, this this week we are, our whole mindset was to get turnovers this week. Cause I mean, we need to get them guys the ball so they can score points. You know what I mean? And uh, stay off the field as uh, short as we can. So that was a big thing that we prided ourselves on this whole week is uh, getting turnovers. Zach, last week and this week, second half, ninth day, and defense talked about what you pride yourself on. Was there anything that you guys talked about leading up to this or at halftime where you said, "Listen, we're not going to let that happen again." Oh yeah, um, since uh, BYU, it was. Fourth quarter, that was it. All four quarters, we got to play all four quarters. We got to finish the game. I mean, we were coming out flat uh, in the games before um, at a halftime. And uh, our whole mindset was that we got to keep our foot on the pedal.